Alright guys, so this is the day after taking apart the KDX. We're actually going to be working on this YZ450. We want to put a stator in, make sure it all runs, everything works before we take it back apart and actually build it. Alright, so we got a brand new stator from Ricky Stator. Now this is one of the lighting stators because we, we want to run a light bar on this when we're done. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, sexy beast. oh yeah, that's a stator. We're going to go ahead now. Take off the cover for the stator. It's called the stator cover. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and give her one of the Oh! This guy lied. What the fuck? Where did that come from? Did we fill it with oil again? Did you? Oh shit! We did. We'll just put some rags. Thomas, if you want to get some rags. Fuck, this is the most cancerous video. So, everyone, that's what happens. Sometimes it happens. You know, did I put oil in it? No. Alright, so the stator cover's off, uh, and we have a big oh. puddle of oil. And he dropped all the bolts. This is a curse, night. We be fucking stupid, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm taking the old stator out. Damn, these are on there good. So I'm just gonna pop that out there. Oh, That's the old boy. All right, just gonna drop the new stator in here. Just get the bolts started. That is probably tight enough. All right, I'm just gonna put some gasket maker in there, put this gasket in, and then we're gonna slap it back on with this new gasket. Should be mint. All right, sorry about the lack of filming. I kind of had to focus when putting it back on. The gasket didn't want to line up properly. But it's back on, stator's plugged in, and now we got these little extra boys here that we can hook a light bar up to, which is nice. But yeah, it's all gonna come apart anyway. We just wanna see if it starts up, because that makes this build a whole lot easier if it does run and has a good working electrical system. Anyway, let's fill her with oil and uh, check it out, yeah. see if it works. I'm excited. All right, so we just put the gas tank on and the seat's just kind of sitting on there for now. Filled it with oil. It's time to try it out. This thing's never run while we've owned it. We've replaced all the electrical components, the wire harness, the CDI, the stator, coil pack, the plug. We weren't even getting spark before, so this is the last piece and I think this will work. Kicker. Sure. All right, William's gonna hold the joke open because it's not sticking open. All right, we hold that. Do we want to try bump start it? So we just tried bump starting it. We decided we kind of jumped ahead too fast and we're gonna take the tank off and check the spark plug for a spark. Gas tank's coming off. A little bit of fuel. There she goes. Come on, baby. I'm just gonna hold it against this bolt here. Oh, 
Oh, we got spark. Oh, dude. Okay, that's nice. All right. That is a nice feeling. That's a great feeling. All right, so it's just really cold. Yeah. And it has old gas in it. I can't explain to everyone watching this video that that is just so nice to see because we tried literally everything else just to get a spark from the spark plug. All right guys, after our struggles last night, we uh, took the carb off, cleaned all the jets, went through it, made sure everything was good. We put the plastics and everything back on. Let's give her, let's give her a kick. Still need to mess around with that uh, fuel screw a little bit. Yeah. You can hear the popping. It's it is popping quite a bit. This thing's a maniac, man. Yeah. It rips. That was third gear, not even half throttle. Really? Yeah, it's wild. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. But next episode, we're gonna be absolutely tearing into this, absolutely ripping into this, absolutely dismantling this, absolutely having a good time. Stay tuned. <laughs> wow.